Okay, well the camera is not working too well today, but never mind that. It's beautiful, warm here in California, probably going to be in the 80s uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, just summer's here. Here we go. How hot is it going to get this year in California? But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're talking, we're here to talk about how do you define when people are in decline? In other words, how do you know that we've passed the threshold and the humanity is now in a decline? Well, let's go over to the board and take a look. Look at my hand just going all over the place. Well, one thing you can tell is when humans are in decline is what the armed conflicts around the world are. What is the consequences of a war on terror? Well, let's see how well the war on terror is working. According to the World Food Program, they just put out a late, another one of those studies that we've been talking about. And they explained the number of people starving across the globe is rapidly growing. It's up 124 million people just from last year. That's a total of 815 million people chronically hungry. And most of it is in armed conflict zones. I don't think you could have guessed that, could have you? Huh? The uh, quote from the World Program is, the link between hunger and conflict is as strong as it is destructive. There are food crises in 23 countries around the world now, and all those countries have armed conflict. So what is the U.S. and the Orange Man going to do about it? They're going to speed up U.S. arms sales. The Orange Man also wants to slash red tape and regulations on overseas sales of U.S. made weapons. In other words, sell them anything. As long as the money comes in, that's all that matters. Overseas sales from both Trump and Obama, the end of Obama and the beginning of Trump, were up $42 billion from $31 billion in 2016. Well, sorry about the camera messing up, but this is the camera we're going to be using for a while. So, as I'm pointing out here, is that the more weapon sales, the more armed conflict, the more humanity starts to go hungry. A lot of us don't think that's coming, but if we get into an armed conflict with Russia, China, North Korea, and any other country that chooses to join that side against the U.S. and its allies, we will be in the conflict zone, and we will suffer the consequences. Nobody gets away without suffering if the conflict is in their zone. Now, a lot of people are saying that the orange man's approach of just bullying everybody into submission, I don't, I don't know, does that really work? That doesn't sound like that, that's a good way to make long-term long friends with other countries. That sounds like you do it our way or else, as we build up more and more arms and we sell more and more arms, as if we think that's a jobs program for the U.S. But that's what the orange man's calling it a jobs program. What is it that the job produces? 